In the main event of the show, Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns collide in the Bloodline Rules match for the WWE Undisputed Universal Championship. In the final moments, Jimmy Uso came to help Roman Reigns, and then we saw Jey Uso also arrive to attack Jimmy Uso, and he spears him off the stage and through a table. Cody went to deliver Cross Rhodes, but Solo Sokoa attacked Cody, delivered Samoan Spike, and Reigns delivered a spear, but Cody kicked out. Reigns and Solo stood tall, and then John Cena came, threw Solo out of the ring, delivered an attitude adjustment to Reigns, and delivered an attitude adjustment to Solo through the announce desk. Then comes the final boss The Rock, and both Cena and Rock confront each other, Rock hits Rock Bottom to Cena, and then Shield music hits, and Rollins comes from behind to attack Rock, but Reigns hits a Superman punch to Rollins, and we saw the same moment when Rollins betrayed Shield for the first time, Reigns hit a chair shot to Rollins. Then Undertaker gong hit, light out, the light came, Undertaker standing behind The Rock, and Undertaker delivered a chokeslam to Rock, and then Cody Rhodes hit three back-to-back -back crossroads to Roman Reigns, and won the match by pinfall, and became the new WWE Undisputed Universal Champion, and finished his story finally. Brandy joins him in the ring as he sinks to his knees, title in hand, he holds the belt high while the bloodline regroups at the base of the ramp, babyfaces fill the ring and hold Cody up. We get a bunch of hugs and CM Punk raises Cody's hand, Michelle Rubio is in the ring and she and Cody embrace and he gives her the title he couldn't give his father. Rhodes gets a microphone as he hugs his extended family and speaks and he says he knows it's been a long night and he is surrounded by greatness in the ring and in the stadium and there are two people he never would have made it back here without and that's Bruce Prichard and the other is pleading and kicking and doesn't want to come out, but please, Triple H, come on down. Hunter obliges, as does Pritchard, Bruce hugs Cody, and Triple H shakes his hand, and then pulls him in close for an embrace before raising his hand and pointing at the title belt. Sami Zayn and Randy Orton lift Cody up one more time. Rhodes goes to the floor and hugs Michael Cole before shaking Pat McAfee's hand. Back inside, Cody reaches down and shakes Seth's hand before having one more moment with Triple H and Rhodes' glad hands with a lot of the crowd and with camera operators and crew, and Nick Khan on the aisle. It was really a perfect movie, like Endgame.